Hey guys, so uh, I apologize for the audio. Uh, I have my shotgun mic on, but I do not have the lapel mic on. It just doesn't work for uh, doing what I'm doing right now. Um, so here's what I've got going on. Here's my plans. So I want to take everything off the front of the tongue of this of this camper and take the battery. The battery is going to be moved to the back. I have to take off my awning and I need to take off the solar panels that are on top. Um, I have a piece of wood up here for my tongue um, and I'm going to pull that off and then we'll rearrange that with some new things up front. But uh, I'm not going to get as much done today as I would like, uh, even though we've had a day or two of sunshine. Uh, the ground down here is still pretty soggy and I'm not going to work in mud. Just don't really want to do that. So anyway, uh, I want to ask you guys, I want your opinion um, on what I need to do here. My plan was, was to cover this front part of the camper from here to here in diamond plate. So from the bottom to the top right here in diamond plate, and then from here up and over, I wanted to cover that with the Henry's Tropical. Now since I found out that the diamond plate is so flexible, I could actually go from here all the way up, turn this corner, and go all the way to the top in diamond plate. I could do that instead. I'd have to go get some other uh, aluminum angle, but that's okay. That's no big deal. But I could actually cover it all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top to where the proper roof starts. I want your guys' opinion on that. Leave it below in the comments for me. Let me know what you think about that. Cover from, from here down or co cover all the way up to the top. Okay? Now the next thing I want your opinion on is the frame of the trailer. When I got it, it was a nice, bright, shiny red. It's four or five years old now. Uh, what are we, in 2018? It's a 2014 trailer, so the trailer is four years old. And it's now faded down to almost pink. And it's showing some rust spots, so I need to paint it. But I haven't decided yet, do I want to paint it red? the way it was, or what about black? So I want to paint it red or black, and I haven't decided which yet. I don't want to paint it gray because I like the separation between the colors of the trailer and the colors of the camper itself. So right down here, where you see this faded pink, what do you think? Shiny red, shiny black. Or... Another option that I haven't thought of. What do you guys think for colors for down there? Shiny red, shiny black. So if you guys would let me know your opinion on those two things, how much diamond plate to put on, and what color to paint the trailer frame itself, please, please let me know down in the comments. Now I'm going to get to a little bit of work. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to do as much as I thought I was going to do because it's pretty muddy on the other side of the camper over there. But I'm going to see if I can get this stuff here off the front and maybe get the battery moved in the building uh, to be stored until I can get that worked on. It's all I can do at the moment until this dries out or until I get the camper moved. And I can't really move the camper right now for various reasons. So, I'm going to get to doing that. And when I have something else to report, I'll let you guys know. All right. Next day. I think it's the next day. This is Saturday now. Um, and and uh, uh, again, I want your guys' opinion on, uh, on uh, how I should do the front wall and on the paint. But more importantly, I want to show you guys the stickers. The stickers have come in. So let me show, show them to you. So they turned out really well. I'm happy with them. 
they uh, they look like the outer edge is a lot wider but it's not I don't know if you can tell well I dropped that one this is what happens when you don't have fingers let me see if I can get up close right around the outside edge they have what's called a kiss cut so there's a little outside edge of sticker that won't uh, uh, that won't come off with the rest of the sticker and just to show you uh, for size wise this is my computer and see how thin that looks this one looks fatter again like I said it's got what they call a kiss cut on there so when it peels off it peels off a little bit smaller it's it's on my computer so there's two stickers now this one going to sell for four dollars shipped and this one is going to be three dollars shipped or I'll do both together in one so the two of them for six so you can get them separate or together and uh, the, it's a nice vinyl material uh, I'm pretty happy with them I, I'm really pretty happy with them. that's what I've got for you today so probably a shorter video I will put links to uh, the stickers and where you want to buy them if you want to buy them uh, down in the, in the description so you can go have a look at there if you want to pick them up that's great if not that's cool too I've just bought a few I think I bought about 25 a piece just to see how they go and just to see what they really look like but so far I'm, I'm pretty pleased I hope everyone has a good Memorial Day weekend and I hope you remember what Memorial Day is about. It's all great to thank a veteran, but really you should be thanking the families of the veterans that didn't get to come home. That's what Memorial Day is about. Is It's about remembering our fallen soldiers and what they've done to keep our country free. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on the next video. You guys still here? Why? The video's over. Go watch another video. Read a book. Or maybe just subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.